The question is today is how to play guitar chords or arpeggios in your solos guitar for Congolese seven music and Congolese rumba. So let's talk about it with a good seven on time. <laughs> truth about this style of music you can say that every melodies every solos are taken off the chord you know so you have the chord and from the chord you take off your melody let's make it slowly you know so the only thing that I've done is when I press the chord but I play string arpeggios of strings you know the notes that I pick from the chord we and we still on the G chord yeah and the key of G so you play you know and the speed that you're gonna pick your strings makes like you playing the the melody very fast and it's created different things you know different uh, solos that's create your solo from here no. so you can think your solo like picked from different chords I thought you playing a seven you know all your reversed reversed chords you know your shortcuts what I call the shortcuts is like from the key of G you play the G chord like this or like this you shortcut it so you only play with the fifth fingers no and you add some notes from there you understand so this is a minor this is a way of breaking down the different solos and the different sevens know your chords and let me tell you which chord I most use for my solos and for the solos of many Congolese African lead guitarists I think in the key of G is the shortcut and inverted form of the G so you have three chords four different forms G C from this form and you shortcut it and you play it only like this that way and then D also from this form but you shortcut it and inverted it like this and then you have also this this G that you're gonna play more like that and the question is how from only those four chord you can have those different melodies and all those different seven. The truth is, you don't play only those major chords. Sometimes you can play some minor chords. It's like to change it or to play it like a transition. Let's imagine a progression like this. G, D, C, D, G, D, C, D. You see that? So as a transition, you can add another chord. You see that? And as a transition, I've added the minor chord 
which is the A minor. Now the A minor here. And I have also added the D7. So when I play, it's like I'm playing both the A minor and the shortcut of the D7. So here is it. played chords shortcuts of chord inverted form but I've added you know put it together in a way that it's created a good melody so here is the secret and when you mix those chord with sometimes transition picked from chord or from the major scale different uh, things compositions I would say compositions or notes picked from the major scale or the pentatonic scale you play like This is only the pentatonic scale uh, and the different chords I'm using. So that's the secret. And if you're playing the rhythmic guitar, it's gonna be G, D, C, D, G, D, C, D, G, A, M, A minor. Also have the same thing in rhythmic guitar and in solo guitar but in the solo guitar is played with shortcuts and pretty high notes you know that it's high notes and as it's the lead guitar you have to play it with a specific way specific techniques that makes you sound like a real guitarist lead guitarist not in the mindset of a rhythmic guitarist you understand that that's one secret of African Congolese rumba and Congolese 7 playing chords knowing the shortcuts, knowing the inverted forms, playing transitions picked from chords or picked from major scales, notes or different scales notes that will create that color of seven. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, to like the video and tell me if that helps you very much or if it's useless, I'm pretty sorry, I'm trying to do my best for you. <laughs> hey, we're on Friday, right? <laughs>